Guys, welcome to the third episode of the Kindle and the e-reader series and in this video I'm going to show you how you can read all your pocket articles on your Kindle e-reader. It's a very simple and easy process and you only need to go through this just once. So let's get started. The pocket highlights some of the services that you can use for transferring those articles from your pocket onto your Kindle on the official website. However, in this video, we're going to talk about just one service, which is simply known as Pocket to Kindle or P2K. So I chose this service because I personally use it. It's the most polished of the services that are available on the site. So let's finally dive in. Okay, so start a delivery system to your Kindle. The first thing you need to do is head over into the browser of your choice and open up this website called p2k.co. The link for this will be down in the description below so you can just go ahead and click on that. So you'll be taken to the Pocket to Kindle site where you can get and click on get started. So you do not need to create any new account. So you just need to sign in with your Pocket account. Now I usually sign into my Pocket with Google so I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so after you have signed in into your Pocket account and authorized Pocket to Kindle to use your Pocket account, you will be redirected into the account or the P2K home screen. Your first screen should look something like this. So this is where you change your delivery options and create a new delivery. So you can select three options from daily, weekly and one time. So the first thing that you'll need before you even continue with all this is your Kindle email ID that you can get from Amazon. So just head over into Amazon.in and sign in into your account. So the next thing that you need to go and is to go to manage your content and devices. Okay, so when you are here, go ahead and go into the settings tab. So in the settings tab, you can scroll down and you can see that this is the personal document settings. So as you can see, I have three devices. So my main concern over here is my Kindle. So this is the Kindle's email address that I need to copy. Also, the one more thing that you need to do is you need to authorize the email address of p2k.co. So for that, you just click on add a new or approved email address and just type in delivery at the rate p2k.co and you just click on add address. So make sure you have copied your Kindle's email ID and you can just close Amazon. So you once you are over here, you can select the daily as I have selected over here so I usually go for weekly you can just also go for a one time you can select on which day of the week you want the articles delivered to your Kindle you can select the time of the day on which you want your articles delivered to your Kindle you can select from the newest oldest timed and any random articles that you might want to send so I will go for send the three newest articles and you can click on archive so it will be removed from your pocket library into the archive section. However, you will receive the articles in the ebook form inside your Kindle. So once you have done that, click on start delivery and it will ask for use the same Kindle email as a last delivery. So I have already set this up. So if this is your first time, you'll get something like this. So this is what you will get. So we have already authorized the p2k or the delivery at the red p2k.co email address in Amazon so all we need to do is paste the email address that we copied from before and we can click on start delivering now and that will bring you to this screen where it shows that this is in progress right now so after you have done this check your Kindle at the specified time or the time that you chose for the articles to be delivered to your Kindle and you will find a new ebook with all the new articles that you have chosen okay so i hope that this video will finally help you guys in reading all those pocket articles on your beloved kindle if you are new here and if you have any questions regarding this and on any other topic you might leave them down in the comments below i usually go through the comments every day and answer as many as possible also if you are new here you might want to consider subscribing if you want to see more of these kind of videos if you like this video, it always helps the channel and if you share this video, it might help someone who might be interested in this kind of topics. That's pretty much it from this video guys and I'll see you guys in the next one.